have arrived at Catalyst Kids at Home, and this is our primary kids church service. Woohoo! Whether this is your first time watching or your a billionth gazillionth time, you, uh, yes, you are so so very welcome. And let me tell you, you have joined in to watch on a cracker of a day. Well, how do you know that, Sarah? You might ask. Let me tell you. It is because today, like every other day, is a day that God has made, and the things that God makes are so so good. Even on the days that don't feel very good or don't look very good, we can always choose to hunt around and look for God's good in our day. Now I wonder what your day has looked like and started with so far today. Maybe you had a delightful breakfast. Maybe you sat on a log with a dog, or maybe you've been smelling stinky socks all day. Eee. I mean, each to their own. If that's what you like doing, enjoy. Now, one of my favourite ways to start my day is by chatting to God and by praying. And today, I've decided I'm going to teach you a fun new way to pray to start your day. To do this little prayer, you are going to need all six of your fingers. Yeah, the mathematicians among you will have spotted this is five fingers, not six. Well done, good job, you. You will need all five of your fingers, and. I'm going to show you how this prayer goes. It's a prayer to start your day. All of your good days, you can start your days like this. This is a little prayer. I'm going to teach you, and then you can try with me afterwards. Okay? So you use one finger, and you say, "Hello, God." And then with two fingers, you say, "Today is your day." And with three fingers, you say, "I am your child." And with four fingers, you say, "Show me your way." And then you do a big high five, ah、oh, man, at the end. Okay, do you think you know it? Okay, let's try. Okay, hands up like this. If you don't think you can remember, do not fear. There will be some words coming up at the bottom for you just here. Okay, ready? Let's pray. Hello, God. Today is your day. I am your child. Will you show me your way? Amen. Amazing. <sighs> I love chatting to God and praying. Now, another one of my favourite ways to start every day or any day, every and any day, is by worshiping, which is when we sing and dance to praise God because God is so so good. So we're going to do that as well, just now, right here, right now. So jump to your feet, get your voice warmed up, go la la la, and then go deeper, go la la. No, I can't go very deep. You're probably better than me. Okay, we are gonna worship. Enough of that, Sarah. We are gonna worship God right now. Here we go.
I, 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 I will follow you, God. I, 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 I will live for you. I, 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 I will keep pressing on until I have reached the prize. good we have already started our day in a very good way and I think it's about time for us to move on to the next part of our morning which if you've been here before you will know is when we move over to the connect crew in space to hear a little bit more about God but actually before we do that I would love to play a wee game with you all today is that okay is it okay can't actually hear if you're saying yes or no so we will march on and play a little game now Recently, some toddlers have been tasked with a very challenging task. You see, their mummies and daddies have put their all-time favourite food in front of them. And then they've been told, wait, you are not allowed to eat that snack until I come back into the room. So the toddler has to sit there and sit there and wait and wait before they're allowed to eat their snack. It's a very hard challenge. I wonder how long you would survive with your all-time favourite food right under your nose and not being allowed to eat it. It's very difficult. And you know, some of our very own Catalyst Kids toddlers have taken part in this challenge and we've even seen some dogs take part. Oh, how crazy is that? And I thought I would turn this into a little game for you all today. So coming up in a moment on the screen, there is going to be some contestants and you have to vote for which contestant contestant is going to last the longest before they crack and gobble up their snack. Contestant A is going to be Ava. Contestant B is going to be Fergie the dog. Contestant C is going to be Judah. Okay, so you need to whoop and holler and scream and shout and let it all out for the contestant that you think is going to win and last the longest before they crack. Okay, are you ready? Are you steady? Check this out. Yeah, but did you eat them? Mm. Ava, you're supposed to wait till I come back. I have Fergie here. Here he is. Say hello to the people, Ferg. And we're going to be testing will he leave the treat? Fergie, I need you to sit for a bit. Sit. Good now. See the treat there? Leave the treat until I come back, okay? Leave it. And I'll be back in a minute.
You get up the tree now. Go! <laughs> Incredible talent on display. Incredible. Wow. What a guy. What a guy. And when I come back, eat, you can eat them then, but don't eat them till I come back. Okay? Don't eat them till I come back, alright? Uh, are you eating them? Mm -hmm. right. A bit disappointing, <laughs> but not surprising. What a wild game that was, and a very, very cute game as well. Puppies and toddlers, you can't get cuter than that, eh? I wonder, did the contestant that you were screaming and shouting for win? Maybe? Maybe not. That was a very difficult challenge, especially for our wee toddlers. Give them, a, give them a little cheer. Good job, good job, good job. And I wonder if that wee doggy Fergie has been to some puppy training classes because he did such a good job of just sitting and waiting and not running towards his wee treat there. And actually, I wonder if Judah has been to some toddler training classes because he did so good as well, just sitting and waiting and even telling himself, do not eat before he ended up munching away on those wee party rings. Oh, it's a difficult challenge for sure. You know, some things in life are just difficult, whether it's resisting your favorite treat or running a marathon. There's some things in life that we need to practice and train for to build up strength and stamina and resistance and resilience to be able to do it. I wonder if you've ever trained for anything before. Maybe a football match or a running race or some other kind of training. You know, this month at Catalyst Kids, we're learning all about how to train your spirit. Huh? What does that mean? We're going to head over to the Connect Crew in space to find out in a three, in a two, in a one. Woohoo! Hey guys, Mike here. And Luke. And today we're talking about how to get close to God. Like this. Uh, what are you doing? I'm 
showing them how to get close to people. We're supposed to be showing how to get close to God, not to me. Oh, yes, right. That means it's time to rehearse the rehearse verse. The verse. 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 Anyways, today's verse is found in the book of James, chapter 4, verse 8. Say it like this. James 4, 8. Come close to God, and God will come close to you. Now, repeat after me, flute. Got it? James 4, 8. James 4, 8. Come close to God. Come close to God. And God will come close to you. And God will come close to you. And being close to God is the best place you can be. In the good times and in the bad times. Uh, I've checked and double checked all the station systems and all of them are in sync. Nothing can go wrong. Oh, but there was that one time my friend Clint was on Connect Station and, and things went really, really way wrong and he kind of freaked out. Anyways, you should just watch, just watch, just watch. It seems there has been a power breach. If it is not fixed soon, our operational system will begin to shut down. Shut down everything on the station. Affirmative. What about the mailbox from Earth? What about the transporter? What about the transmissions? All transmissions to and from Earth will be halted. Oh no, that means that we can't transmit God's message to all the kids all around the world. <laughs> Oh, I stalled it. Oh, good. Mike, we need you to fix the operational system. Oh, okay, I got it. We're doomed. Game over, man. We're doomed. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's fine and not that bad. Let me see what's going on down here. Oh, hey, space donuts. I wonder where I left these. Huh. Yep, it's definitely not that. And I'm pretty sure it has nothing to do with the toilet. So, not that. Uh, Mike, mm. have you fixed it? We're kind of panicked here. Uh, nope, but I will. I got this. Is he whistling? Mike, how can you be whistling at a time like this? Oh, it's really easy. All you gotta do is like, oh, you do show like this, and make an O sound, and be like, Mike! Just fix it, okay? Oh, okay. Oops, that wasn't good. Uh, my bad, my bad, but I still got this. I'll fix it. Oh. <laughs> I thought Clint was going to lose it for sure. Well, how did you keep your cool? I stayed in sync with God. Hang on, I have something that could probably explain this. It's all about staying connected. Here. Watch this. This is a 66 pitch mixed up into one. The book's about God, who he is and what he's done. It's the Holy Bible, y'all, with God's truth packed out inside. It's a life of Christ to hide in your heart and in your mind. Old Testaments are set up for the big event. When Jesus crashed the scene with a new arrangement. It's history, his story, whose story, God's story. Let him know up all the pages that this show gone on. Let his word explode from this video into your life. Jesus said, I am the vine, and you, the people, are the branches. Branch? I'm not a branch. I don't mean like a tree branch. I don't get it. The vine and branches were used by Jesus as an example. It means you are a child of the king. That's Jesus. Really? That's awesome. Does that mean I get to wear a crown? It gets even better than that. Not only are we children of the king, but when we look like Jesus, we will have fruit that sets us apart. Oh yeah, I remember. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, 
faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Those fruits come from being connected to Jesus, right? Yes, that's exactly right. And Jesus even says that those who remain connected to him will produce fruit. But apart from him, you can do nothing. Kind of like when a light isn't plugged into a wall? Exactly like that. Just like a light cannot function without being plugged in, we cannot function without being connected to Jesus. Jesus loves us so much that he wants to be close to us, like really close. He wants to be our greatest friend. Really? So how do you get that close to Jesus? By following God's commands and doing things like praying and attending church, we can get close to him and in return, he will get even closer to us. Jesus said that in doing this, we become like the disciples. They were really close to Jesus, like best friend close. And we can be too. We just have to stay connected to God all the time, not just in church. He is the vine and we are the branches. And as long as we remain in him, we will grow much fruit. So staying connected help you produce fruit? Yep, the fruit of the spirit. And one of the fruits of the spirit is peace, which comes in really handy in unexpected situations. So what happened? Did you fix the station? Well, I could tell you, or I could show you. Ha! Bye. I think I fast forwarded ourselves. Hold on, let me get back to where we were. Oh, okay, this is better. Hold on, I'll get back to our spot, hold on. Okay. Just give me a second, give me a second. It'll be fine, it'll be fine. Okay, how about now? Dad. No, no, uh -huh. Mike is correct. Staying connected to God is very important. Luke will understand this better once he discovers today's point. Friends, say it with me in three, two, one. Get in sync with God. Very good. Perhaps our friends will discover this point very soon. Ah, there, there, there. We're there, we're there. All right, now where were we? Everyone was panicking and then? Just watch, but you gotta push the button because you took the remote from me. So we're probably not gonna die because you know what you're doing, right? <laughs> You've done this before? Oh, I probably would have. I can hit that button or... Mike, please tell me you fixed it. It's fixed. Really? <laughs> no, no. We're doomed again. <laughs> Mike, you keep working. Clint, come with me. Hold on to that. Luke, you seem stressed, buddy. So, uh, what happened? Did you make it? Did you fix the station on time? I don't know. Did I? I mean, I'm here. I'm alive. I'm sitting on a couch with you. So, hmm. True. But did anyone get hurt? Because it all seems very unsafe to me. See, there it is. You're worried. You know what would help? Connecting with God. Okay, so how do we find out how to do that? In an orderly fashion. Impatient. How's your connection? Ha 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 ha. Let's do this. To, to the to room, room to, to room to to the room. Hi, room. Hello, Mike. Luke. How can I help you? Luke is stressed. I'm not stressed. He is so stressed. Okay, maybe I'm a little stressed. You see, Mike was telling me about a time he stayed cool and calm when he connected with God. I just don't know how he did it. God loves questions, and he is just waiting to show you the answer. Show me. Oh, right, in the Bible. James 4, 8. James 4, Come close eight. to God, come and he will come to close God, to you. And he will come close to you. Yeah. Well, see, that's what I'm talking about. The closer you get to God, the more connected you will be with him, and soon, a strong relationship with him. I can see how that connection is very important. I just don't know how to do it. There are many wonderful ways to connect with God. Reading his word. Praying. Or listening to him. Dancing, because dancing is a form of worship. And worship is a great way to connect with God. See? When the branch isn't connected to the vine, it withers and dies. When our spirits aren't connected to God, it dies. 
If we can't live for God, our spirits die. You know, I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready to get connected with him. It's time to get in sync with God. Hey, that's the point. Get, get in, in sync, sync with God. God. That's wonderful. You have connected the dots. And now I know how to stay connected with God too. Thanks, Room. You are very welcome. So that was your secret. You were connected. Right. That's why I didn't panic. That's why it's so important to stay in sync with God. Get in sync with God. Got it. So, how did it turn out? Well, Ray and Clint discovered the secret too. Watch. Oh. Oh, hey guys, don't panic, but it's still not fixed. <laughs> It's okay, Mike. We trust that you can fix it. Whoa, you guys changed. What happened in the room? Well, we learned about your little secret. Oh. What did you learn, Mr. Bond? Well, <laughs> we talked about the verse and about being an example. And then we watched the Bible story. Mm -hmm. And it was all about how Jesus is the vine and we are the branches and only by connecting to him will we bear fruit. And when we bear fruit, we show others the power of Jesus. And that's what you've been doing for us. You've been acting a lot like Jesus, Mr. Calm, Cool, and Collected. <laughs> so we put it together and figured it out. You've, you've been, been connecting. connecting. <laughs> so tell us all about it. Well, every morning I read the Bible, which is God's word to me. And at night I pray to Jesus and tell him everything. Praying to Jesus and connecting with Jesus really helps me. Well, you've been an example to us. <sighs> the operational system came unplugged from the power supply, so let's see if this helps. <sighs> and there you go. See, I told you I'd fix it. And let this be a reminder to all of us to stay connected to our power source, Jesus. <laughs> it's a perfect time for... A donut! Oh gosh, no. Uh, <laughs> just kidding, I feel it too. The Robot Dance of Joy! The operation system wasn't even plugged in. Nope, was not even connected to the power source at all. Staying connected to the power source is really important, just like today's point. Yeah, will you say it with us? Get, get in sync, sync with God. Today's verse says that when we get closer to God, God gets closer to us. And that makes our connection to him even stronger. Will you say the verse with us? Ready? James, James 4, 8. 8. Come, Come close, close to God. God and God, God will, will come, come close, close to you. you. This week, let's find ways to stay in sync with God. Because without God, if we're not connected to him, we have nothing, we can do nothing. Nada, zero, zip, zilch, infinite nothingness. Mm -hmm. Staying connected to the vine, that's Jesus, is the most important thing we do here on Connect Station. Now, in order to stay connected to Jesus, you have to be connected to Jesus first. And if you're not connected to Jesus, you can do that today. All you have to do is remember your A, B, C's. A, admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying him. B, believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C, choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is the leader of your life and your number one friend. Wonderful. So lesson one in how to train your spirit is to get in sync with God, which just means living by and practicing the way that Jesus lived. And when we do that, we can get in sync with God. We get in sync with God when we choose to draw closer to him. And when we get closer to God, it connects us more to God. Just like that vine and the branch in our story, the branch and the vine needed to be connected to grow good fruit. And when we're connected to God, 
we can grow more of God's good fruit in our life, like love and joy and peace and patience and kindness and goodness and gentleness and faithfulness and self-control. And all of those things can help show other people more of who Jesus is. Now, you might be like Luke in that video and think, but how do I get connected to God? How do I stay close to God? Well, we can pray and chat to God and listen to God. We can read our Bibles, God's word. We can sing and dance and worship God. Have a think this week about what things you will do to stay connected to God. There's gonna be some questions and activities on the screen for you and your people to enjoy to help train your spirit. Uh, so remember to pause boop when you get to those. For now, it is time for me to say goodbye. <laughs>